Welcome to the stream, Hobby Central Enthusiasts. How is it going, guys? Now, today we've got something super special for you guys. We are going to be opening four Vivid Voltage booster boxes. Um, but I just want to put a little disclaimer out there. Bear with me, guys. This is like my Welcome second... Okay. The stream, There's my Hobby. voice. Uh, this is like my second YouTube stream ever, so I'm very much figuring things out. It's a very different system, um, as opposed to, as opposed to Twitch. So hopefully everything looks okie dokie. Do I sound okay? Can I get, like, a hashtag turtle in the chat if you guys can hear me all right? Por favor. I'm also on a brand new uh, computer setup, so I'm just trying to get everything uh, 100%, so. Sorry about that. All right, we're going to we're gonna get into it here in a second, I swear. I'm just trying to figure my stuffs out. My stuffs and my things. <clears throat> Put that over here, maybe make it a little bit smaller, and get my chat. Where's my chat at? Hashtag turtles coming in hot. That's what I like to see, guys. That's what I like to see. All right. I think we are good. Now, so uh, Mike Mitchell became a member 18 minutes ago. Thank you so much for becoming a gold member. If you're a gold member, you actually get a 10% off coupon at the beginning of every month. Well, the timing, we're, we're, we'll have to figure it out, but uh, we're definitely going to be giving a 10% coupon uh, to everybody that is a gold member. So let me show you guys what we've got on the board for today, all right? It's... uh gonna be a little bit crazy okay not one not two not even three but four vivid voltage booster boxes all right now i just stacked them up there to show you guys what we're dealing with this morning that's 144 packs ladies and gentlemen all together that's pretty crazy now look at this man i don't know what it is i'm gonna go ahead and Get this one busted open, and then I'm going to have to clean my mat. It's ridiculous. Also, if you were used to that crisp, clean quality of Chaos's stream last night, our first ever live pack opening. First of all, that was a huge success. Thank you guys so much if you all came up for that. Um, but this, my internet is much doo-doo compared to whatever Chaos is rocking over there. So I tried to set it up as good as I could. But, you know. You know how it is. Look at all this. Messing up my mat. My beautiful work mat. Are you still selling? Uh, are you talking about for the live stream? Yes. The link is actually pinned at the top of the chat. If you guys are interested in getting some live packs for our next live pack stream, you may do so right now. In fact, I actually just added two things. I added... Um, some Panini Prism baseball draft picks. And I also added... Man, those were tied in there. I also added uh, Tag Team Bolt Japanese Pokemon cards. So if you guys are interested in that. Bro, Rainbow Fat Pikachu has to be in one of those. No way there's not. Right? Four, four boxes, guys. We gotta get that Rainbow Rare. And we do have a Rainbow Rare emote. So I expect you guys... To be spamming it often. As often as possible. What's up, Jeffy? What's up, Brian? There's the man himself, Brian DeJong, uh, in chat. He is the wild man that ordered all this Vivid Voltage. So I, I need to stop talking and just get right into it. I'm going to use a little hand fanny. Real quick. Oh, let's bump the camera. Earthquake test. There you go.
Uh, Jimmy, if you're watching, I didn't have time to do a social media post for the stream or anything. I, I have no idea what our viewership is right now or anything. So if you or Draw wants to handle that. All right, here we go. Get your live break packs at the top of the screen right now. And we're going to get right into it. Uh, I'm going to try my best. Brian actually requested that we uh, save all of his code cards for him. So I'm going to try my best to not show those. But, all right. So on the non-hit packs, we're just going to quickly go through them. You guys know how I do. And I'm going to try to be sleeving as we go here. And we're just going to start rocking it, guys, because it's going to take a while. 20 viewers, 13 likes. It's not bad. We got a hit pack here, ladies and gentlemen. Easy, Pikachu. So I actually do it the classic way on these. How is the uh, the camera quality and everything? Good. Slugma. Oh, my Lord. Second pack in. A gold secret rare Orangaroo. Congratulations. Let's go. Can we get a like spike for the uh, gold Orangaroo? Two packs in. Beautiful. Let's go. That's pretty awesome. Camera's fine to me. Audio good. I'm actually using the built-in mic on my phone. So this is my old... Two, three, four, five. This is my old S9 Plus that I just decided to use as my webcam because some kind, a lot of times webcams, modern even webcams, uh, the autofocus feature just isn't as good as a cell phone. It's really weird. Um, so I've just got, I've just got my old S nine plus here hooked up and I'm actually using the built in microphone with that. So you sound and look perfect. Spuds. Spuds. How dare you I'm trying to butter me up? Gold card, baby. There you go, Brian. You don't have that one? Awesome. And Brian, again, thank you so much for the huge order, man. Obviously, this is a bit of a larger scale order that we're used to. And looky there. The Jirachi. Amazing rare. Right off the bat, get some hot packs here. We got the gold secret rare Orangaroo. And what, two more packs in? The amazing rare Jirachi? Killing it, brah. Now, the Jirachi was the number one amazing rare in the set for a while, and I believe it is taken over by Rayquaza now. But so far, so good, my mans. How many rainbows are we guessing Hobo's going to pull? Ooh, I like that. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got a Pinchuro, Pin, Pin, Pin Searchin. I'm guessing two Rainbow Trainers and a Rainbow Pika. Ooh. Well, I hope, Spuds. Four for the hit pack. Here we go. Joltik. That one stuck to my fingers. Charmeleon Reverse and a Pikachu V. Good box so far. That's the least valuable Pikachu you can get in this set. But a Pikachu V nonetheless. So the pink the pink variant of this card. It's actually not the exact same art, I don't believe. I don't know. I've never held one in hand. It's pretty close. to No, I think he's standing up. I can't remember. Anyways, there's a pink Pikachu V uh, that is actually the second most desirable Pikachu in the set. And you're going, wait a minute, Hova. There's the Rainbow Rare Pikachu, and then there's the Pikachu VMAX. Wouldn't the Pikachu VMAX be worth more? No. The pink Pikachu V is worth more than the standard Pikachu VMAX. Kind of odd. And I haven't seen one yet. Oh my lord, I messed that up. Wait. Did I count five? I tried to count four. Anyways, you got an Agislash... V Max, look, I'm 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 pulling a Jimmy. One is full art. The pink is full art. Okay, that would be why. But still, I don't know. The Pikachu V Max to me sounds like it would be worth that. It would be worth more. There is the Agislash V Max. Sorry, I ruined the hype on that one. 
and then let's make sure that there was nothing. There it is. Phariseed reverse. Imagine there's just amazing rare chilling right in front of the VMAX. Tragic. <laughs> my bad, my bad. What's up, D? How you doing? Quick maths. That's right, dude. I'm sorry, Brian. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Do you forgive me, Brian? All right, here we go. Thumb through this one real quick. Yama, ma, 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 yama. You know what? I'm, I'm probably going to stop even thumbing through them, to be honest. I mean, no one cares about the base cards in Vivid Voltage. The only thing you can get is in the hit, pat, or the hit spot or the reverse spot. So... One, two, three, four. I'm probably just going to start skipping right to the end of those. But the hit packs will do like this. Uh, for sure. Shut up, phone. I need to silence my phone, don't I? Mightyena and a Zapdos holographic. Mightyena, you get sleeve too, you cute little poochie. Get it together, Hova. You're fired. Another hit pack here. Yeah, so um, if you guys don't know the origin story of this stream, basically Brian put in such a big order that Jimmy and I were kind of talking behind the scenes, like who's going to process it? You know, like when you order Kakuda, uh, when you order four booster boxes of anything on our site, we're going to like first look at our inventory and be like, okay, who's got more of it? <laughs> you know, let's make sure that we try to keep our inventory equal split between the two of us and then i was like wait a minute three three boxes of vivid voltage why not we just why, why don't we just stream it you know let's just stream it let everybody enjoy it instead of recording a super long video and having to edit that and upload it and all that stuff you know it's like skip right to the end shed ninja shed shed ninja i always want to say shed ninja and then he decided last night during our live pack stream to open a whole nother box. So now we got four. Another hit pack. Four. Four, right? Yeah. Oof. Oof. It's early, boys. Haven't had enough coffee. All right. I can see it back there, dude. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and ruin it for you, Brian. We have a rainbow rare Pikachu back there. I'm just going to call it right now. Oh, okay, Alakazam V. I have never seen this card. I've This is the first time pulling that. Very nice. Sorry if I hyped you up on the Rainbow Rare Pikachu. Uh, but th this is the first time I've pulled the Alakazam V, I'm, I'm pretty sure. That is a beautiful card. That's definitely one that I want to get for my collection. That is awesome. Very, very cool. Congratulations, Brian. You're getting some pretty good hits here. As you guys watch me struggle to get that into a top loader. Uh, you're getting some pretty good hits already, man, off the first box. Nothing to complain about yet, for sure. Alakazam V! Yeah, what's the... Uh, I feel like that, that's got to be first page TCG player price, right? Ranked highest to lowest. It's got to be, right? I mean, you got the Oranguru Gold already. Alakazam V... Pikachu V, Amazing Rare Jirachi. So far, so good. Let's go ahead and skip right to the end. You got a Metang. A Metang. Yeah, that Alakazam is sick, Alexis. I agree. I much agree. Hit pack, ladies and gentlemen. Pikachu alert. Four to the front. Here we go. Oh, my dudes. Okay, you want to know what the problem is here? <laughs> I've got my monitor way over here to the right, and I'm trying to watch myself on that monitor. Reverse Voltorb and a Deancey. Deancey? Deancey? Hollow? I'm trying to watch myself on that monitor and keep an eye on chat. And it's making me all fumble fingers on the pecs. Not gonna lie, guys. Not, not gonna lie, guys. That's a $200 PSA 10 on the Alakazam V. Very nice. This dude. I know, right? Two, three, four, five. And... Shboing! Clobopus. 
is your reverse. Counting is definitely not my strong point. I dropped out in the third grade. That's a lie. I did graduate high school, ladies and gentlemen, if that if that impresses anyone. <laughs> All right, here we go. Clefairy reverse with an Orbital V chilling behind him. But yeah, get in your live pack orders now, guys, because we've already sold over... I think we're close to 200 packs already for next week's stream. So, uh, by the way, the, the date in the title is the 27th. One, two, three, four, five. I'm trying to move some stealth stuff around. Who that is? What did I just hear? What was that noise? Was that something... I don't know what just happened, dude. I'm scared right now, bro. We got a Barrascuda. I thought we got like a member or something, but nothing is on the uh, stream elements. See, that's another thing. I'm not used to stream elements at all. I feel like I might have missed a reverse or something in here. I'm not used to stream elements or any of these things at all. So this is all like, I feel super out of... My comfort zone right now is really weird. Like, this, obviously not the first time I've ever streamed, but I am out of my element as far as being on YouTube and using stream elements, and I'm just on a whole different setup that I came... I brought a computer from downstairs and set all this up last night. So, it's uh, it's kind of it's kind of crazy right now. What's up, KB? Just grabbed a tag team? Hell yeah, thank you so much. Read text message. What's your name in Discord? I, I recognize your profile picture. But yeah, make sure you get some packs because they're selling out quick. And uh, yeah, it's going to be crazy. Execute with a Dusk Noir behind it. 31 viewers. Not bad for early in the morning, eh? 18 likes. Let's get a like spike, ladies and gentlemen. Stop what you're doing right now. Get that out of your hands. I see you. I can see you. Oh, you didn't know I could see you right? Yeah, drop that. Drop it. Stop what you're doing. Like the video, okay? Three, four, five. Uh, yeah, it's got to be a lot of fun. And like I said, I added the tag team bolt and some MLB prism today. So, Sandile Dial Reverse. Uh, we're getting low on Cosmic Eclipse. What else are we getting low on? Darkness Ablaze is getting down there. Don't forget there's a Charizard VMAX in that Darkness Ablaze, and that's a pretty affordable pack right now. Going to grab some Shiny Star V for the live pack if I can get my card fixed. Unfortunately, my friend, we are out right now. Uh, I have more on the way, and every time I order it, the price goes up. Uh, but I do have more on the way. But as of right now, I believe we're sold out. We only started with 10 packs, and that sold out like basically as soon as the live went like yesterday. So That's what I'm saying. Like If you guys want packs, you need to secure the ones you want now. Um, also... We kind of severely underestimated the amount of time that it would take to even get through the packs. Reverse Eevee, there you go. So, it took it took Jimmy, what, three and a half hours? Or did it take him over four? I can't, I can't remember now. Um, but, so, I don't know. We might be... I'm thinking about just leaving mine to go to 300 packs. <laughs> God, that's a lot of packs. I gotta, like, make sure I have enough time to devote that evening for that. But anyways, I think what I was trying to explain earlier... Let's see what you got here. A Stunfisk. Um, the date right now says the 27th, but that's subject to change. I'm actually gonna try to make it to where the stream is Tuesday the 26th. And then going forward, all of our live pack streams will always be on Tuesday. You know, barring any whatever schedule changes for whatever reason but do i do a fourth order to get some tag team though i mean alexis that's up to you my friend but a wise uh a wise man that worked in a pie shop once told me you gotta risk it to get that biscuit my friend you know what i'm saying but i don't know how many orders you've already placed so that's totally up to you my man 
I'll have to get the ones on the site then. I don't I don't think there's any I mean Hobby Central is completely out of stock right now is what I'm saying on Shiny Star V. Was that five? That was. Um I don't think we have any listed in any capacity. There you go, amazing rare Raikou. Is that how you pronounce that? Raikou? Beautiful card. So yeah, we have more in transit. It is paid for. It, have, it actually hasn't even shipped yet. What is that noise that I keep hearing? What is happening? Something's going shoing. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Or if it's just me. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love the Amazing Rares so much. I'm surprised that they actually didn't get... Uh, I'm surprised they didn't put any Amazing Rares in, in Battle Styles. I don't know why they wouldn't. I think that should just be a standard going forward. Of course, having said that, if they don't, that just means that these Amazing Rares are going to be worth more. You know, they're going to hold their value better, the less of them there are, right? So, If Hova pulls a rainbow, I'll get a fourth order. That's a pretty fair bet, man, because I'm opening four, and you just that's any rainbow, right? Here's four to the front. It could be a rainbow right here. I'm pretty sure I saw at least two people in the chat also say that if I pull a rainbow rare, that they're, they're going to upgrade their subscription from silver to gold or from gold to diamond. So our gold tier members will be getting a 10% coupon for the site once a month. And our diamond tier are actually going to get a bitchin' custom hoodie, okay? So more details on that hoodie in the future. Uh, and also to totally disclose you have to remain a diamond tier member for three consecutive months and then you will get the diamond hoodie and then every three months there will be a new reward and we're not talking like you know we're not talking like a sticker here you know we're talking a, a beautiful custom designed hobby central themed custom hoodie and other awesome stuff so any rainbow will do it all right so that's three people in chat three four seven people in chat that are going to upgrade their member service if I pull a rainbow, and Alexis is going to place a fourth order. All right, deal. Here we go. Dedene and a whale lord. Well, you guys don't have to spend any money yet. No rainbow rares as of now. Watch. I'm going to pull a rainbow rare. He's going to go to order the tag team bolt packs <clears throat> for, his, for his other order. And they're going to be sold out. How funny would that be? <laughs> One, two, three, and four to the front. Here we go. Here we go. One more time. Everybody's feeling fine. Here we go now. Voltorb, Galarian, Meowth, Reverse, and an Ampharos V. That good old Ampharos V. D91 said he was going to drop a sub if I pull a rainbow rare. I know I heard I know I heard that. I know I heard that. I want to see three amazing rares come out of one booster box. I don't think I've seen that yet. And I don't want to see it. That divide that 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 defies the uh the the odds on the amazing rares, but it could happen. We've already got two out of this case, so we've got a decent amount of packs left there. Here we go. With the Amazing Rare, or the, uh, with the Rainbow Rare in the back. Let's get some Rainbow Rares in the chat, all right? Maybe we can summon it. Maybe we can summon it. I'm not pulling the Joltik off until I see the Rainbow Rare emotes in the chat. <laughs> see if I can get near two sets ARs, get them all graded, and bang them up on eBay. Dude, that would be really cool. Like, I need to put my phone on silence, apparently. Gonna buy some for the break because I love the Japanese cards. Heck yeah, man. Hey, and if you like the Japanese cards, let me tell you, I have a lot. I have a lot, a lot, a lot um, coming in the mail. So, all right, here we go. It's an electrode, guys. You put them in the chat for nothing. But I appreciate you. That's all that matters is I appreciate you. Yeah, I have one box of Tag Team Bolt right now. And that's it. That's all the Japanese product that I have left, I believe. Yeah, open the Dragon Storm. The other tag team bolt's been gone for a while. Vivid Voltage is sold out. 
Um, it's getting scarce, but I have a huge, I have a plug. I have a guy, his name is literally Dung. His first name is Dung. And, uh, we email regularly. We're, we're, we're pretty good homies now. It's pretty cool. And he gives me good deals and he ships me a whole bunch of Japanese cards. So here we go. We got Electros and there we go. We got a Darmanitan, Darmanitan V Max. Beautiful. Does that count? There's kind of some colors. There's some cool colors back there, guys. Does that count as a rainbow rare? Huh? No? Yeah? Maybe? Maybe? No, probably not. I know you guys. You're not going to let me get off that easily. Look, we buy the good stuff here, okay? Ultra Pro Loaders. Not that cheap crap, okay? We take care of your stuff here as best we can. I may or may not have bought the rest of the Vivid. Oh my god. Wait, how much did you just buy, dude? How much did you just buy on the live breaks, Uncle Playboy? Uncle Playboy, if you 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 coming out here spending that much money. Oh, did I forget? Yep. If you coming out here dropping that much money on uh Vivid Voltage Packs for the stream, why ain't you why ain't you got a badge, brother? Why don't you got a badge? Speaking of badges, I'm curious. I, I'm so new to the YouTube live stream game. Is there, uh, is there a way to gift subs on YouTube? Off the site, I mean. And when you say the site, are you even talking about our sites? Or are you buying off somebody else? Because now you're going to make me sad, dude. Alright, here we go. Rainbow Rare in the back. Get ready to sub, everybody. Vaporeon Reverse and a Talonflame V. Why did I put that there? I need to hard case that. So I uh, I top load anything that's a V or higher. Most of the holographics, just the standard holographics, aren't worth anything these days. But then there's, you know, there's some standout, like, I don't know. Is anybody grading that? I know I could pull the Charmeleon back here. I guess I could top load that. I don't know if anybody's grading Charmillions these days. Obviously, there's some exceptions, but for the most part, I just top load anything V or higher. I only buy off your guys' site, just not the break yet. Oh, okay, so you just bought loose packs. Of our Vivid Voltage. I forgot we had a little bit of that in stock. Not much, I don't think, but we've got some. Tornadus. Let's go. Let's get another amazing rare out of one of these packs, dude. <laughs> you too, Tommy, me, bro. All right, are we going to clutch up and get an amazing rare out of this box? I don't know. Let's see. Let's, can we get another amazing rare? No, we can't. Not out of this pack, at least. Are the Japanese packs next week's tag teams? Next, wait, are the Japanese packs next week tag teams? Are you talking about... The, the ones that are the tag team bolt packs that are listed? On the live break? Uh, that's... Okay. I'm confused by your question. <laughs> All the packs that are purchased on the live break uh, link at the top of the chat are being broken by me next week. I listed Tag Team Bolt, and those are the packs that are on that listing, if that's what you're asking. Stone Energy. Don't let Chaos show you up. We need some rainbows. I know, right? What's up, baby girl? Hi. Daddy's working. Daddy's working. Go away. Get. I got attacked by my puppers. She had to come say hi. But I also... My Lanta, what is that? Pokemon cards. That's a big case of Pokemon cards. I don't even know what it is. I don't know. But the guy, the FedEx driver, made sure I picked him up because he saw the outside for Pokemon. Oh, nice. Uh, I am live, so oh. say hi. So don't say my social security number. I mean, if you do, say it very quickly so <laughs> that they can't write it down. 
Oh, looky there, we got a Charizard. I'll go ahead and sleep it for you, even though it's not really that big of a deal, because it's non-hollow, non-reverse. Dusclops is your reverse. Um, yeah, so I don't want Jimmy to show me up, but let's let's be honest. He opened almost 300 packs. I'm only opening 144, so I'm opening about half what he did yesterday. I was going to show you what the outside said. Pokemon TCG collector's chest? What? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't either. Here, set it down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rip it real quick. Sorry, guys. I'm going to show you guys some inventory, potentially. I don't know what this is. It's got my name on it. And it's got Pokemon on the side. This might be... I ordered a bunch of stuff from Target. Oh, Ooh, Daddy! What is that? There's, I, there's another box underneath the box. All right, guys, we just got a shipment in. Three more boxes of Unified Minds, and then there's a brand new sealed case underneath that. Let's I'm going to see what that is real quick. Okay, you can put it over there. And we've got, looks like this is Darkness and Blaze, I think. Yeah, six sealed Darkness of Blaze boosters. We be getting all kinds of inventory for you guys here at Hobby Central. All right, last pack what is that noise i don't know what's going on last pack of the first booster box here we go one two three four five here we go one more amazing rare give it to us not so much it's a loudred reverse <laughs> excuse me flynn shooker have you got my stuff yet hova what are you what stuff what stuff do you be speaking of? I'm just going to keep these piles going, I think. Let's get all that bulk over there to the side. We're just going to keep on keeping on, my friends. All right. Now I'm going to be gentle with this because this white stuff gets everywhere. I don't know what... I've had a lot of booster boxes, but for some reason the Pokeballs... You see this? Look at that. The ink on these is just like disintegrating it's ridiculous and it gets everywhere man best card to get in unified minds i'm gonna open this over my trash can i try not to take product off screen if i can't if i can help it but just trying not to make a huge mess that i have to clean up uh best pack in unified mind or best card in unified minds i can't tell you off the top of my head but i'm guessing it's the mew there's a mew mewtwo tag team Rainbow Rare, maybe, I think? I don't know. There's a bunch of Mew and Mewtwo in Unified Minds for obvious reasons. That's why the set's called Unified Minds. So I'm sure it's a Mew or Mewtwo. Somebody can look it up on TCG Player and give you a, sh a more straight answer. Sure. Look, look at all the... Ugh. All right. I, I was going to clean it, but there's no reason to clean it. I've got three more boxes to go, so... Yeah, I'm still doing the eBay stuff, too, Mike. The cards I sent you in the post. Oh, okay. Yeah, that could be you, Flynn. So, Flynn, are you are you in California? Is that where you're located? Skiddo reverse, because I got a package that got delivered to my P.O. box that said for some reason they returned it to sender because I moved, even though I didn't, and I just renewed my P.O. box like two months ago, so I need to go in there and see what's going on. So, I don't know... I don't know what's going on. It said it got returned to a California address, so I don't know if that's you or not. There we go. Four. Except Hovo snorting white powder. How dare you? How dare you? All right. First box was pretty good, guys. Oh, boys. We got an Orbital VMAX. There we go. Keep that VMAX count common Alakazam V full art what was the highlights of the first pack Alakazam V full art Jirachi and Roiku, Raikou amazing rares um, some V maxes I can't remember what they were though pretty pretty good pretty solid first box I'd say the second best uh, amazing rare not the Rayquaza, but you got the Jirachi.
in and out at the moment. Where's that fat Pika Hova? I'm trying, bruh. I'm trying. Coding energy. Oh, we did get the Pikachu V, just the just the Pikachu V, not the not the great full art one or the V Max or the Rainbow one, but we did get a Pikachu. Clean, please, or make sure none get reverse and hit no Oh, the the white? Okay, yeah, I'll clean for you, brother. Hey, they're your cards. I don't mind. I think it, it, it's crazy. Like, I'm looking at it here, IRL, obviously. And it doesn't look near as bad as what it does on camera. I know on camera there's, like... I could sit here and clean this to where IRL, it looks totally fine. And on camera, I'll look and be like, ugh. But, yeah, there's, there's nothing on the mat now that's going to get on your cards, bud. All right, one, two, three, four... Here we go. Here, here's that rainbow rare, guys. Let's get rainbow rares in the chat. It's gonna happen right here, right now, live on Hobby Central. Here we go. We got a gold telescopic sight. Oh, that's right. We got the gold Orangaroo in the last pack. So you've gotten a gold from each box so far. So that's pretty nice. Beautiful card. Beautiful. It kind of sucks that it's a telescopic like. Some of the stuff that they choose to make gold is kind of like, really? But any gold is is nice, right? Jimmy over here getting jelly over the lint roller? What, he doesn't have a lint roller? Yo, get yourself a lint roller, Jimmy. And did you guys know? This is turn into a segment of the more you know real quick. Look at all the nasty hair on there and everything. But did you guys know... That when you buy a lint roller, you're supposed to just discard this once you get to the bottom, and then you buy refills. I had no idea. I thought the handle part was just disposable, and you were supposed to throw it away and buy a new one each time. And then I got to looking online, and there was refills for lint rollers, and I was like, what? So, maybe I'm the only person in the universe that didn't know that, and I'm a moron. Or maybe I just learnt you something. I don't know. Hit pack. Here we go. Easy rainbow rare. It's not a rainbow rare. It's a Magirna. And a go goat reverse. Refills are cheaper. Yep. I love, I love that shiny Orangaroo also. I know, right? That's another thing in, in uh, I believe... Is it Villa Bloom? Villa, Villa, whatever the other big monkey guy is. There's a, uh, I believe there's a gold, a Villa Bloom something. <laughs> What's his name in Darkness Ablaze? So you've got the Charizard VMAX and then you've got that gold card as well. All right, here we go. Giraffe reverse. More pack orders coming through. Get Hova to open 400 packs. Let's nuke him. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Yeah, like I said, I mean, if you want packs, you, you you probably need to make sure they're secured. I mean, we're we the the sale page hasn't even been up for 24 hours, guys, and we've sold almost. Last I looked, we've sold almost 200 packs. So, Rilla Bloom, that's it. Whoops, amazing rare. Nope, a pick a pack. If you get to the bottom of a lint roller without losing it or messing it up, then you are a god. <laughs> I never make it to the end of those. Yeah, eventually just all the sheets are gone, and then you just put a new roll on. It blew my mind, dude. It was one of those things that you think you know for so long. Like, it's funny when you start getting older. Slugma, super off-center, maybe worth an OC rating? I don't know. Uh, it's funny, once you start getting older, there's all kinds of things you'll stumble upon. You've been like, I've been doing that for years. And I had no idea that it was supposed to be done like this or whatever the case. Sorry for that earthquake test. What's good in the tag team? Uh, can somebody link, if anybody has time, someone link the tag team hits. Oh my god, my fingers weren't working. Flareon and a Zygarde reverse. So far, I mean, we did get the gold telescopic sight and a VMAX, but so far this... This box not as good as the first, for sure. Uh, 
Um, if I remember correctly, tag team bolt. Uh, you've got a chance. There's a Charizard. There's a Gyarados. There's a Blastoise. Um, what else? I can't remember. I know those I've pulled myself out of tag team bolt. I grabbed six without knowing anything in them. Never opened or had those types of packs. So, uh, so they're actually five card packs. Uh, yeah, they're five card packs, but there seems to be just as much of a hit rate in the five card. All right, so we got a hit pack here, ladies and gentlemen. More God packs soon. Yeah, we are working on restocking those as we speak. There we go. Zamazenta, amazing, rare, and behind it. An Agislash V. Do you have that one, Brian? Which amazing rares are you working towards? Or do you already have all four of them? Or wait, six, right? Yeah, six, I think. But yeah, we are we are actually working. In fact, I, I was telling the story last night. I don't know if you guys missed it, but I back when we first started this channel, we were just opening product instead of selling it. We were just opening product on camera for videos. And back when I was doing that, I know I pulled a Pikachu VMAX and some other stuff, and I couldn't find it for like a month. I'm just like, where would I have put that stuff? And I felt bad because it's technically Hobby Central's inventory, you know, which is half mine and half Jimmy's. And uh, I found it yesterday. So there'll be a Pikachu VMAX and a Jirachi Amazing Rare as chase cards in the next god the next run of god packs if that interests anybody yes i'm complete let's make it another set get them graded heck yeah man well so far you've gotten three different ones so you only need three more and you've got two and a half boxes left so won't let you super chat why not spuds what's it doing is it disabled again? I don't know if you're watching, Chaos. If you can check on the back end. I thought I checked right whenever I went live. Because yesterday it was disabled at the beginning of the stream, which was really weird. Why did I do that? I was distracted. I'm sorry. Yeah, Super Chat should be enabled, my friend. Chuck a set on eBay. Yeah, so I, I, I think I interrupted myself earlier, Brian. I think a really cool idea would be... To take all your amazing rares, get them graded, and then frame them. Those are six, right? So do three, and then another three on top, and then frame that in a picture. I mean, it could be a basic picture frame, and I think that would look badass. That's something that a collector would want, in my opinion. I don't, I don't know. Tried five times. Maybe it's just on my end. Huh. Does anybody else want to experiment? One, two, three, four. I'll check on the back end after I open this pack. It should be good, though. All right, so we do have a hit pack here. Easy rainbow rare incoming. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to try to hold the cards a little closer to camera. I don't know if where I've been holding them has been a little too strenuous. We got a Zygarde hollow. That is actually our last sleeve, so I need to grab another pack. I have the amazing rares from Shiny Star V. I love them. Hell yeah, man. Again, we got the good, the good Ultra Pros out here. None of that cheap crap. You know what? I might as well, while I'm at it, get another thing of top loaders. Yeah, yeah, da, da, da. In my package for you, there's your favorite Charmander card as a little art piece. Oh man, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's awesome. I was already looking forward to that package, and now I look forward to it even more. I'm gonna send a text one sec.
All right, let's get Skiddo. Good old Skiddo. What's up, Alexis? Uh, haven't missed anything too crazy. This box hasn't been as good as the first one so far, but there's lots of packs left, so we'll see. Hopefully we get that Rayquaza. Amazing rare. Brian, thank you so much, man. That's the plan. A set graded framed B dollars. I didn't see the alert. Did it alert for you guys? Uh-oh. There it goes. It was just way behind. I didn't hear the sound, though. Wes might have to check my... Uh... Wes might have to check my setup here. He set it all up for me. I don't know what's going on. But thank you so much, Brian. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Thank you so much for the 349 New Zealand dollars. Did I already count? Oh, my Lanta. You know what? We're just going to... Yeah, okay. It was a non-hit pack, so not the biggest deal. Look at that. Look at that centering, dude. You you might, especially since it's a reverse, you might want to show that to draw. Somebody want to take a screenshot or whatever. Spudly! Oh, my Lanta. Everybody's doing stuff. Why is the audio not work? Wait. I just don't hear it, but I think you guys should. I see audio levels coming in now. You guys hear that? Yo, Spud. Thank you so much for the fiver. I appreciate it, man. 34 viewers and only 25 likes. Hit that like spike, he said. And then Hobby Central. Hobby Central themselves dropped $5, so that's pretty cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, Brian, you might want to hit up draw, especially since, I mean, if it was just a normal card, whatever, but you can send in cards and get the actual OC, the off-center rating when you grade them, as far as I understand. Uh, and it's a reverse, so I, I don't know. You know what? I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and uh, top loader it for you just in case, because I know with like misprints and off centers, there can be some collectability in those. So it's just your end, I think. Okay, all right, yeah, you're good. As long as you guys hear the alerts, I'm not super concerned with it. I might tell Wes, to see if he can fix me up. He, he uh, remote controlled my computer for me the other day. He did a bunch of wizard stuff. So, league staff. So, God packs you guys just make. You guys make what? Wait. So, the God packs you guys make what can be in them. Yes. God packs uh, are basically completely built. I mean, they are completely built by us. So, like I said, in the beginning when we first started this channel, we were just opening product without selling it. We were just opening it for video content. One, two, three, four. So all the hits that we were getting in those packs, we just repackaged and sold them as God Packs. But every every card in the God Packs is guaranteed to be a reverse holographic or higher. And we put some really fun chase cards in there. Some Charizards and Pikachus and stuff like that. So here we go. A Pikachu V. That's the second Pikachu V we've gotten for Mr. Brian so far. Yeah, so it could be all kinds of different sets. In fact, we had, uh, you know, we purchased, we purchased some bulk from some people, you know, to build those out and everything. So, uh, but we have a lot of fun with it. Basically, you know, if it turns out the way we want it to, you end up getting a really crazy assortment of cards from all kinds of different sets, and it's all reversed, holographic, V, V Max, G X, all that stuff. I mean, you, you end up getting a really crazy assortment of stuff. And then there's some, you know, not not every pack is going to have a really good hit in it, but at least they're all reverse or higher. And then some of the packs have really good hits. So that's kind of the idea, right? All right, here we go. Here is our Rainbow Rare. Not so much, but it is a Colossal VMAX. Very nice. And we just kind of did that as a fun idea because, like I said, we had all bunch of we had a whole bunch. There's another pretty off center one, not as bad as the other one, but 
we had a whole bunch of inventory that we had opened up and we were like, what are we going to do with all these loose cards? And God packs came to mind and we didn't really know how it would go. And then we put them out there and they sold out a hundred God packs sold out in like three hours. It was ridiculous. Here we go, Brian. Let's get you some Rainbow Rare. Drapion V. Come on, man. Gotta go to work. Have a great rest of the stream. See you on the live break. Uncle Playboy, thank you so much for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. May all the pulls be with you if you picked up some packs for the live stream. Thanks for stopping by, Bretta. Oh my... I'm sorry, I just probably made everybody sick. With that camera knock. We need an emote for how many times we knocked the camera, too. Because I think Jimmy was doing it a little bit, too. Here we go, guys. Rainbow Rare right here. Who believes? I believe. I'm kind of scared. A lot of the cards in this pack are super off-center. Genesect. So, like, obviously I want you to hit good pulls, but when I start seeing a bunch of cards that are super off-center, it's like, ugh. Ugh, you know? And it's all limit 10 packs or you can buy more. So that's a good, that's a good point you bring up. So, the reason that we do that is because we want people to be able to buy one pack if they want, but we also want people to be able to buy, you know, 10 packs, 8 packs if they want, right? The problem is, the more packs you order, the heavier the package gets, and then, you know, some of the packages might cost $15, $20 to ship, so obviously that, we can't do that, that affects our pack prices, right? So the Timit, the, the Timit, the 10 limit is there, so that way you have to pay your shipping for every, you have to pay a shipping charge for every 10 packs that you order. It basically just covers our ass if you end up, uh, you know, buying... 40 packs, right? Reverse Dreadnought. So, yeah, you can buy, long story short, you can buy 40 packs if you want to. You just have to break it into four different orders. See what I'm saying? Forty-five minutes, you gotta go to work. Oh, are you telling me to speed up, brother? I'm sorry, I'm a talker. I knew like I knew I was watching Jimmy last night and thinking to myself, I'm going to end up taking longer than he does because I just end up talking to chat and kind of getting, I don't know, I, I get sidetracked easy. I, I'm, I'm an idiot, basically is what I'm saying. You got me into eBay. I could get, I could ship them there. I can get a count together. Wait, a count of what? What are you talking about? I missed your first message. I'm sorry. This is a non-hit pack. We got a Choodle. We got the Dreadnought and then the Choodle. Choodle? Does Choodle evolve into Dreadnought? I'm completely unfamiliar. Yeah, he does. Okay. That's kind of weird. We got the reverse Dreadnought and then the reverse Choodle right behind it. You're our idiot. Aww. Aww. My day's been pretty good so far, Nate. How about yours? I mean, I'm sitting here opening Pokemon cards, chilling with you guys. People were nice enough to... Drop a membership, getting reverse Flareons, got a couple donos. I mean, oh, speaking of which, there is a donation link in the description as well. So you can super chat or donate. One, two, three, four, to the front. We got a hit pack here, ladies and gentlemen, with a rainbow rare in the back. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, rainbow rare, Pika chew now. Dang it, that would have been cool. Would have been so cool. If you all need more hollow, reverse hollow VMAX, any of the bulk, I'd sell it to you all. Okay, yeah, hit us up on, uh, you can you can email us, hobbycentralbiz, B-I-Z, at gmail.com, and we can uh, see if we can work something out. Uh, for sure, but it all has to be packed fresh. We don't want, you know, a lot of people are like, yeah, I'll sell you my bulk, and then they show us pictures, and it's all, like, bent and stuff. I'm like, well, no. Yeah, no. All right, here we go. Pikachu in this hit pack right here. 
I want. I don't even know if I want the rainbow rare. I do want the rainbow rare. I just really want to see that crazy V with like the pink. There we go, a Jirachi, amazing rare. Well, it kind of sucks that you pulled another one because I know you're trying to get. You already got the Jirachi amazing rare. I know you're trying to get a second full set, and I'm hoping out of four boxes, you should get eight amazing rares. So hopefully. If we don't get too many duplicates, we can fill out your second set in these four boxes. That would be pretty cool. All right. And if you're not already in our Discord, can somebody drop the Discord link? Make sure you join our Discord, man. I'm addicted to our Pokemon chat. And you might be saying, well, what does that even mean? Everybody in our Discord chat is constantly opening Pokemon cards, and they're just posting pictures of their hits on a daily basis. Like, all day long, from morning to night. It's amazing. You wake up, and you go over all the pictures that you missed overnight. Togekiss V. And you get to see everybody's pulls and their hits, and it's, it's a lot of fun, man. If you're into Pokemon cards, you definitely want to be a part of our community on Discord. We've got a really awesome bunch of people in there. Jirachi, another $200. PSA 10. What's a PSA 9 bring it down to? Also, start searching CGC. I've been trying to search CGCs. That's true, yeah. I mean, like Jeffy said, if you're going to pull a second... One, two, three, four. If you're going to pull a duplicate of any of the amazing rares, Rayquaza and Jirachi would be the ones that you want to pull because they're the most desirable in the set. So, if you're going to pull... A duplicate amazing rare. Jirachi's a good one to do. Beauty and another Dust Noir. It's such a good community. You ain't even lying, Spuds. You ain't even lying, bruh. Wait, we've already been live for an hour, and I'm not even done with the second box here. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's see. I need to kind of rearrange some things a wee bit. Start working on our second stack of reverse and hollows, probably. We'll just move our hits pile over a little bit. All right, we should be good now. $71 for a PSA 9. That's not bad, man. Yeah, 100 bucks PSA 9 on a Jirachi. I mean, who's complaining about that? Now, our CGCs. See if anybody's grading CGCs. I mean, I know they are, but how are those selling? Fortress. How are the Amazing Rares with CGC selling? I'm curious. But I think, like, what he's trying to do, what Brian's trying to do is get a whole set and then do something kind of special with him after he gets the entire set. This has got, like, a bend in it or something. Oh, my earthquake test. Can you see? See, there's, like, marks on the back. So it is a hit pack, but I'm almost hoping it's nothing good because there's some weird stuff going on on the surface on the back. Yeah, from what Brian's trying to do, though, he's trying to get them all, the whole set, grade them, and then do some sort of a neat collection of them or something. Steelix V with some weird defects on the back. $150 for a CGC 9.5. See, that's awesome because you, you said a PSA 10 was going 200 right? So the fact that a CGC 9.5 is only bringing it down $50, that means that people are really starting to trust CGC grading and, and be comfortable with collecting it. So that's really cool. Got to go. I'll be right back. Don't break anything. <laughs> Got you, bro. All right. Here we go. Weedle Reverse. Another hit pack, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can get. I should have really like brought a drink up here for myself, huh? That would have been smart. Pharisee reverse and the Snorlax reverse or holographic Snorlax. Not a reverse. It's actually a really cool Snorlax card. It doesn't need to be sleep though. The Pharaoh Seed. All 
All right, we've got four packs left. Brian, you still here, man? You haven't had to leave for work yet, right? I think we've got, what, 30 minutes before you have to leave for work? Brian! With another dono. Thank you so much. Some super chat love. No rush, mate. Chill vibes. Awesome to watch. Hey, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much, man. We got a zebra reverse. Yeah, and going forward, guys, if you ever place a large order, I would say, you know, like if it's if you're buying like um, if you're buying like booster boxes from us for personal breaks, you get two. It would have to be at least two. It might have to be three, to be honest. I'm just trying to think like. If you guys want to include in your order note, if it is a lot of stuff, instead of recording like an hour long video, that's basically what it should be. Like basically if it's an hour long worth of stuff for a video, for a personal break, just let us know if you would rather us just live stream it or we might contact you because I think from our standpoint, we would rather stream it. Just an hour long video is a lot to record and then have to transfer to a computer and edit that file and upload the file. I've got terrible internet anyways, all that good stuff. So, What's up, Noah? How's it going, brother? One, two, three, four, five. All right, this box better come in clutch. Definitely hasn't been as good as the first one so far. Although we did get a gold card. All right, last pack right here. The last pack hype. It's got Pikachu on the front. Maybe it'll have Gold Pika on the inside. Oh, it is a hit pack. Let's see. Four to the front. Here we go. What do we got? Let's get some Rainbow Rare emotes in the chat. See if we can pull that last pack luck here. Celebi. There we go. We got a Celebi Amazing Rare and a Shaman Holographic. I'm trying to think. Was that... That's on average, right? I think we just got the Jirachi was the only other amazing rare we got from this. It's kind of funny. I bet I bet Brian was sweating, dude. He was like, where is my second amazing rare out of this set? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. When did we pull? Wait, did we get? We got three out of the first box, didn't we? I've only broke two. I had to like look over and make sure. I just realized that. We pulled three out of the first box, didn't we? The Raikou, Zamazenta, and Jirachi. Right? Am I crazy? And then the Celebi and Jirachi were out of the second box. So you're doing good, man. I was sitting there talking about, I wonder if we can defy the odds and pull three amazing rares out of one of these booster boxes, and I think we've already done it. I mean, we had to have. I, I don't remember it because I'm stupid, but that's it right there, guys. What's up, Benji? How's it going, buddy? Make a second stack for Amazing Rares, I guess. Why not? Because I know that's what you're going for, my friend. Dude, how did I completely, like, miss that? I'm, I'm so dumb. All right, here we go. We got another box. Two more to go. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I'm going to open this over here above the trash can. Oh, my earthquake test and I'm gonna have to get the damn lint roller out already anyways because it's everywhere these vivid voltage man they're crazy I don't understand what happened to the printing on the plastic on these I like what you got you would almost think like I don't know maybe that just happens from time to time but all the other booster boxes I've ever had the white ink does not just flake off the packaging like that. Dewey! Dewey, thank you so much, man, for becoming a gold member. Much appreciated. So if you guys didn't know, if you're a gold member, you actually get access to a 10% off coupon for HobbyCentralCards.com once a month. So thank you so much. We appreciate you. Here we go. We've got some more packs coming in hot. If I buy stuff for personal break, would I be able to pick it? Pick a date to open. It'll be for my son's birthday. Huh. Uh, we have never done that before, John, but I, I think that's something that we could definitely do. If you're talking about a video, we could, you know, we could do it and record it beforehand 
and then schedule the video to go up on your son's birthday, I think would be the best way to do that. Where am I going to put these packs, dude? We're like running out of room here. Uh, that's something definitely we can talk about. When's your son's birthday? How far out? How far out are we looking here? Get this Pikachu for Brian. Hell yeah. Alright. We got a hit pack. First pack in, ladies and gentlemen, with the Rainbow Rare Pikachu right there in the back, ready to go. Or a Leon. One of the two. All right, this is our second to last box. If you guys have been here for the long haul, if you guys are just joining us, we're breaking four booster boxes of Vivid Voltage for our man Brian, who put in an order for personal breaks on our site. February 23rd. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of time, man. Yeah, go ahead, John, just go ahead and put in the order for whatever you want. And then in the notes, there should be a section in the note or a section for you to put a note in to us. Oof. Um, and just make sure you say, hey, this is for my son's birthday. Like we spoke on the live stream, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, and we'll go ahead and break the product, you know, now as we have it or whatever. And we'll just schedule oh, the video for got. February 23rd. I don't see any problem with doing that. Benji. Yo, Benjamin Castillo. Thank you so much, bro. The silver collector now. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Eduardo, what's up, man? All right, here we go, guys. We got a rainbow rare in the back of this. Oh, it's an Agis slash VMAX. If I can get it in the top loader, my Lanta. You guys watch Max Mofo? He always cracks me up whenever he puts his cards into uh, his top loaders. He's got a, a meme where he plays Jeff, 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 every time he taps the... Anyways, if you guys don't watch Max Mofo, you're not going to understand what I'm saying, but... All right, one, two, three, four. Another hit pack here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get that rainbow rare, son. Rainbow rare emotes in the chat. We got a member train going on. That Choodle was so off center. An Agislash V. We got the Agislash V and the Agislash V Max in back to pack packs. Say what? How was vacation? Vacation was great, man. It was good times. I was down in Texas for about a week, chilling with the fam, having some drinks, brought in the new year, all that good stuff. It was good times. Good, good times. Non-hit pack here. Let's get that Rayquaza Amazing Rare. Or a Snorlax Reverse. We could also pull that Reverse Charizard. That would be nice. Haven't seen one of those yet. Rainbow Agislash. Oh, now you guys are calling which... Not even just calling a rainbow. You're calling which rainbow we're going to get. Make sure you are in our Discord and connect your YouTube channel to Discord new members. Yes. Yes. What what Hobby Central said in chat. Also, quick note for a lot of you. In fact, Brian, I don't know if you're still watching this. I noticed yesterday whenever I was looking through your orders. Look at that. Centering again, my Lanta. Um, if you guys are putting in orders on the website and you do not have an account set up, please set up an account on our website, not only for benefits for you, because we might have a rewards program coming soon, hint, hint, wink, wink, but also it is much easier for us to process your orders. So like whenever you guys are, like especially like Brian, you, you uh, process multiple orders with us. Whenever we're processing them on the back end on our system, we can click view orders, view members, other orders or something like that. And it basically shows anything and everything that you've ever uh, ordered with us, which is a good way for us to click on that and be like, wow, Brian spends a lot of money with us. And then we might slip with something a little extra in your package or whatever, um, stuff like that, you know, but also it's just an easier way for us to process the orders. And if you've got three or four orders for the week, it's easier for us to ship those together if we can see them all at the same time. So 
if you haven't signed up on our website, all you got to do is put in an email, I think, and set a username. It's really simple. It just helps us a little bit on the back end. All right, here we go. Blitzel. No God Pack yet? Uh, there is no God Packs in these, unfortunately. If you're just talking about Vivid, or uh, if you're talking about Shiny Star V, no, we haven't pulled one out of that either yet. I always forget to log in before I purchase because the website always be logging me out. Ah, uh, maybe that's it. Maybe you guys have accounts and you just don't log in. It's not the biggest deal. Like I said, it's just one of those things. It does make it a little bit easier for us. Rewards just take my wallet, Hova. <laughs> yeah, we. it's been on our list of things to do. And our list of things to do just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So, you know, it's one of those things. I, I still don't know what's going on. Every once in a while I get a notification sound in my headphones. And Four. We do have a hit pack here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get those rainbow rare emotes in the chat to summon the Pikachu for our man Brian. Talo and a Zygarde. Yeah, my bad. I buggered it up. You fixed on your end. No, yeah, you're good. You're good, man. Don't worry about it. Not a big deal at all. What's up, C. Joe Fox 45? You have not yet, unfortunately, Spud. I wish you would have missed some rainbows, but not yet. Maybe maybe now that you're back, we'll pull some. Electric. So I don't think we've pulled any amazing rares out of this box yet either. So hopefully we can get that Rayquaza. Where the rainbows at? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Shup it reverse. If you guys don't understand what I'm doing, I feel like the majority of you guys do, but if you guys don't understand what I'm doing, whenever I open these packs, there's a really quick tell. So that card right there means that there's a hit behind the reverse card. This card means there's only the reverse card. So I count four cards for the card trick on the on the packs with a hit, and five cards with the non-hit pack. And then I go through them a little bit different. Since this one has a hit in the back, we'll actually sit here and go one by one on the others with a non-hit. We just skip to the end because we know the only thing we're going to get is a reverse anyways. And we've all seen all these commons and uncommons from Vivid Voltage a billion times. We've got a Magirna reverse and an Ampharos V. Ampharos V is a dirty card, and I'm going to tell you why. Because, first of all, look at him. He's yellow, and your first thought is, oh, it's a yellow electric-type Pokemon. I got a Pikachu. And then it's like, nope, I got an Ampharos. He's kind of cool looking and all, but it's it's just, you know, it's not a Pikachu. Quick question. No more videos on Hova Flips. No, I will be doing videos on Hova Flips. Cause here's the deal. Right now, my eBay warehouse is, like, completely overrun with inventory that I haven't listed yet. And it's so messy, it literally looked like a bomb went off out there, that I'm embarrassed to film videos out there. So, I plan on... Um, I'm actually in the process of... We purchased a new house, and we have to renovate it and then move in over there. So I'm going to have a brand new warehouse that's going to be dedicated to my eBay business and Hobby Central. And uh, I should... Uh, the plan is to resume the eBay video content on that channel once the new setup is finalized. Jaffiel? All right, here we go, amazing rare. No, where are the amazing rares in this set, brah? Been wanting to get in on more breaks, but I pre-ordered too much. <laughs> I hear you, I hear you. We have, uh, speaking of pre-orders, guys, if you guys are interested in battle styles, They've started releasing all the secret rares and everything from the set, and it's looking to be an awesome set. We have, I believe we have 36 booster boxes pre-ordered for Hobby Central Inventory. Uh, so if you're interested in that, stay tuned. We also have the Japanese version 
should be in our possession within the next week or two. So we'll have some of that going on too. And we got a Zarud V. Didn't know you guys were going live today. What's up, new edition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we mentioned it last night, briefly. I mean, our, our focus was on the live pack breaks last night. This was kind of a last-minute impromptu thing you know i mean it was just kind of a random occurrence so basically brian put in a big enough order that we were like why are we going to record this and make a video whenever it's going to take us an hour and a half two hours to process it anyways we might as well just do might as well just do a live stream right chill out with everybody i'm not gonna lie like if i was sitting here breaking this order as it came in just as a video i'd probably be losing my mind with boredom but the fact that there's a chat over here to keep me busy is helping a lot. Genesect reverse hollow. Terrible off centered again. There's so many off centers in this. Like like I said, Brian, you might want to show some of these off center reverse that you're getting to uh, to draw and see if he thinks that they're worth grading. Just because they're off center, there are off center collectors out there. You heading out, Brian? Later, bro. Have a good shift, and uh, hopefully we'll pull some rainbows while you're gone. You'll get to catch up on the VOD when you get back. We got a hit pack right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get those rainbow rare emotes in the chat. You know how we do it. Charmander, Garbodor, and a Whale Lord. Oof, boof. Earthquake test. Dang it. Lay, 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 Brian. One, two, three, four, five. Japanese battle styles I'll definitely get in on. Hell yeah, Benjamin. Appreciate you, bro. Skip to the end. A manectric. Alright, this left stack must be hiding all of the amazing rares because where they be, bro? Where they be? Oh, I answered you. <laughs> I answered you, Eduardo. Uh, basically, my warehouse is just a disaster right now, so I'm literally too embarrassed to film video content for Hova Flips right now. Uh, once I get into my new eBay warehouse, that content will resume. That is the plan. Hit pack. Oops. Swoobat and a Lugia uh, holographic behind him. Keep on keeping on. We got another hit pack, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. Summon the rainbow Pikachu. Oh, man. Brian just left and we pulled it for him. Brian, let's go. It doesn't need two sleeves. I know it's a chubby. It only needs one. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The chubby rainbow Pikachu. Let's go. He literally just left chat, too. He was like, gotta go, and then we pull it. Bro. He got it. Everybody, everybody spam him on Discord. Everybody at mention him on Discord in the server. And be like, bro, you might want to check the stream. Look at that. Let's go. Beautiful. Can we get it to stand up? Let's, we got to... We got to show it off, right? Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Why am I messing with all that? Here we go. That'll do, pig. Yeah, buddy. Now people are going to click into the stream. They're going to see that in the thumbnail, right? Let's go. That's awesome, man. Super happy for you, Brian. 
we pull that fire out here at Hobby Central. I'm telling you. Jimmy can't fire you now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, now he's behind. I got two Rainbow Pikachus and he's only got one. Now what, Jimmy? Now what? Say something. Damn, let me get this fourth order going. Oh, yeah, that's right. Alexis had a wager with me. I think there was at least like eight or nine, maybe 12 people in the chat that said that they were going to upgrade their membership if we pulled a rainbow rare. And not only did we pull a rainbow rare, ladies and gentlemen, we pulled the rainbow rare. Let's go, dude. That is awesome. You did, Omok. Looky. Looky there, bro. Look at that big, beautiful bastard. He has the Rainbow Zard. I guess he did have the Rainbow Zard. Wait, have I pulled the Rainbow Zard? I can't remember at this point. I think I did, didn't I? I think we've both pulled the Rainbow Zard, the Reverse Zard, uh, the Shiny Zard. Dude, I can't even remember at this point. We've both pulled some crazy stuff, though. There we go. A Zamazenta, which ah, I believe is another duplicate. Unfortunately. Get down in there. Yeah, unfortunately, that is a that is a duplicate. So now you've got two Jirachis and two Zamazentas. Meanwhile, all of the Vivid Voltage sells out on our site because we just pulled a Rainbow Pikachu. Is all the Vivid Voltage... Is Vivid Voltage sold out for the live rate? Can somebody uh, check numbers on that, please? I'm curious. Why is the live opening from last night not available to be watched? It will be, Omak. Uh, Jimmy's doing something with that now. I think he, he, he handles all the... Uh, thumbnails and titles and scheduling and everything i upload my videos and all that and then he just takes takes care of when it goes up and everything so he he actually did tell me earlier today that he's uh, scheduling that for sometime this evening i believe i think instead of just having it up and available to watch immediately after we want it to like kind of you know re-premiere i guess on the channel the following evening as, like, fresh content for everybody that missed the stream. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Also, yeah, I don't know if it's available immediately after because of the processing time and all that. I don't know how that works. I'm not, I'm not super familiar with the live stream setup on YouTube here. Opal... Dude, I'm so glad we pulled the Rainbow Rare Pikachu because I know, I know Jimmy was gonna give me so much shit if I didn't pull it. Imagine if I could pull two, because we still got a whole nother box, ladies and gentlemen. A whole nother box. All right, here we go. We got another hit pack. Hey, I didn't see anybody upgrade their membership. I thought there was D91. Where are you at, bruh? Bia and a Darmanitan V. Later, Benji. Thanks for stopping by, brother. One, two, three, four, five. Ninjask and a Jolteon reverse. There are a bunch of uh, decent reverse Eevee and Eeveelutions in this set. That's another kind of cool thing that you can go for in Vivid Voltage. Myself, personally, when it comes down to like the two sets, the two newest sets, Vivid Voltage and Champion's Path, I would rather break Vivid Voltage, I think. Like, you've got those Chase Zards. Five, which don't get me wrong I'm definitely going to be chasing and have been and will continue to do but overall I think Vivid Voltage is a more enjoyable experience personally oh shut up Jimmy Jimmy 
This is my second, bro. Where's yours? Now you got to catch up, all right? I got two fat Pikas, all right? Which is currently the most valuable cards that you can pull. So I'm definitely winning now. I, I hate to throw that out there, but you've got some catching up to do, my friend. All right. CP, no fun for me. I mean, it's fun. Like I said, I have I open it. I still open it from time to time. It's just uh, I enjoy Vivid Voltage a little bit better. I really want to pull that, that Charizard for myself, so I'm, I'm going to keep doing it, you know? I'm, I ain't going to lie. I'm going to keep opening it, but I'll probably open more Vivid Voltage personally. Show the back of the Pikachu. I, 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 hold on. We'll do it right after this pack. One, two, three, four... Here we go. I mean, that's actually pretty crazy, the fact that I pulled two of those. Colossal V, those are a one in a thousand. One in a thousand. Now, I've opened a lot of Vivid Voltage, don't get me wrong. But I have definitely not opened 2,000 packs. By any means. I mean, at most, I've opened... Oh... Uh, two cases, maybe a little more. So 6, 12 times 36, whatever that comes down to. What's, somebody in the chat, what's 12 times 36? That's about how much Vivid Voltage I've opened. Maybe a little more. We'll say 15, just to be safe, right? Oh, the back of the Pikachu, that's right. Centering, unfortunately, isn't the best. It's definitely wider down here on the bottom than it is on the top. Left to right isn't bad. Uh, the corners and everything look pretty good. I think the edging in the corners are, are more or less fine. It's just that centering on the back is a little off center top to the bottom. And then on the front... Well, top to bottom on the front, you can't really tell. Because there's not a bar at the top. Left to right doesn't look too bad. Maybe a little wider on the left than on the right. Maybe. And I'm by no means a grading uh, expert, so... I don't know. Brian! There you go, bro! Yes, sir! You did it, my man! You did it. So happy for you, man. All right. There we go, your electric spider reverse. We've got, uh, looks like six or seven packs left here, maybe. And then... And then we've got one more whole box. <laughs> Alright, and we are due for one more amazing rare out of this box. It's not guaranteed, but... On average, we should get another one. Only took 80 minutes for me to get that Pikachu. That's right, dude. A Trumbeak Reverse. Hype, 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 hype. We actually have a hype emote. There we go. We got the Charizard. I'll sleeve it for you, but... There we go. And another Jirachi. Three Jirachis. Bruh. As I said, you are due for another amazing rare. Well, I hope you like Jirachi, because you've already got three of them, my friend. And the base Charizard's really not worth sleeving, but I just, I have a problem with not sleeving a Charizard in any capacity. You know what I mean? You never know. Maybe one day just that base set non hollow Charizard will be like redonkulous. Alright, here we go. We got another hit pack, ladies and gentlemen.
Poochiana, and a Zekrom Hollow. I don't even know how I'm going to mail all these cards to you, bro. It's going to be like a 12-pound box. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to be huge. If you don't sleeve a Zard, you have an issue, right? Even the even if, even that one, you know, it's probably worth a quarter. But still, it's just I don't know, man. I can't not do it. Three amazing rares, not so much. All right, two more packs. So what are we? We're an hour and a half in. I'm just now finishing the third box of four. Oops, five. This is going to be a, uh, a nice test of how long my stream is going to take. I'd still get that Zard graded just for collection purposes. Yeah, I might send off a base, just a non hollow. Last pack, hit pack, here we go. We need to pull that reverse Zard for Brian, too. I can't remember what the pull rate is on that one. Oh my god, bro! Brian! Let's go! This is the same box, too, man. You just got... The Rainbow Pikachu and the Pikachu V full art out of the same box. Let's go, dude. Such a beautiful card. That's insane, man. That's the first time I've pulled that. I mean... HobbyCentralCards.com That's all I have to say. Look at that. What a fire box, bro. Wow. Wow. It's clean, bro. I mean, it always just comes down to centering more, more than anything to my naked eye because I don't know much about the grading system. I mean, bro. That's, that's huge, man. That is huge. Let's move these right there in all their glory and all their beauty and all their splendor. Last pack hype. Bro, that might be the last, the best last pack that we have ever gotten on Hobby Central. That's nuts. And ladies and gentlemen, we have one more booster box left to go. He's already pulled the Rainbow Rare Pikachu V Max, the Pikachu V Full Art. He's got, he's above average. On his amazing rares. Three boxes. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's one above average so far on his amazing rares. And he's got, I believe, two golds so far. And yet the man still has another box here ready to go. Spud, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Appreciate it very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean... People might have looked at Brian and been like, four boxes of Vivid Voltage? Are you insane? But look at what the man has done here today so far. Look at this. Come on. Got to get all this crap off. Look at what this man has done. I mean, you couldn't have asked for better results. And you've still got a whole nother box, bro. I'm almost scared to see what's in this one. It's actually nutters. I'm going to go ahead and keep clean here with a little bit of 
moisturizing hand sanitizer, 70% alcohol. Get all those oils off my skin. I'm an oily man, okay? I'm all right with that. I'm okay with admitting that to you guys. I'm going to get nice and hand sandied up here, okay? Nice and hand sandied up. up. Because I, I believe those pikas, they've got me so hyped. I've been secreting oils and excitement. All right. I mean, I just, bruh. Out of all the ways that this could have gone, it's it's turning out pretty good, my friend. It's turning out pretty good. How many packs for that Pikachu? This is a one in a thousand pull rate. I don't. Somebody look up the pull rates on this set. I, I'm not a hundred percent. It's probably not. It's just weird coincidence. I would. This might be a lower pull rate than this, though. Surely not. But this is just the first one I've pulled, and I've pulled two rainbows. And this is a one in a thousand. So my odds are a little off. I don't know. But somebody, I'm actually really genuinely curious. If somebody can look up the pull rate on that Pikachu V4, I would be really interested in knowing. And if Pika, if Vivid Voltage isn't sold out on our live breaks yet, I, I'd be shocked. Because this is some fire going on right now, dude. There's a nick in the bottom of that card. Hopefully it's nothing too good. All right. Here we go. It's a Dusk Noir. Hope I don't know if you were so, if you or Chaos saw this, but if if I bought two of these, would you guys be willing to do a battle pack opening to see who has the better luck? Uh, if we can, if we can figure out the logistics of that, so we would have to jump into a discord call with our cameras on or like, a how did I, how did I, I got that reverse over there cause you can barely see it or a zoom or something. I mean, if we can figure out the logistics, I'd be down. I don't see any problem uh, other than, uh, you know, just finding time to do it cause we're both really busy, but uh, yeah, hit us up on discord or send us an email to hobby central biz at gmail.com and we'll see if we can figure something out. One, two, three, four, five. Can't wait for hope. I don't know if I'll do a face cam, honestly, because my setup over here is really weird. I'm like under a vaulted ceiling in my loft. And I'm on a second computer. So my webcam that I use for regular streaming is over there. And I don't want to like haul that one back and forth. I really don't want to spend money on another webcam. I, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not promising anything. I like this setup, to be honest, if I don't have to put too much on the screen. You know, I, I don't like the screen to be too busy either with, like, overlay mess and stuff like that. We'll see. We might. Imagine another rainbow or a peak of V and a reverse, and a reverse char. That would be, yeah. Yeah, we could still get the reverse Charizard. 1 in 450 on the full art. Let's go, dude. 38 Vivid Voltage in stock currently for live breaks. Ladies and gentlemen, if this isn't proof in the pudding or whatever the kids are saying these days, I don't know what is. You might want to pick up some packs of Vivid Voltage. This set is awesome. So I will let you guys know we've already gone through, I think, six cases of Vivid Voltage since its release. Of booster boxes and we had the same pricing every time on those six cases and this and we just reached out the day before yesterday and frampy and the price went up quite a bit and everybody else doesn't even have any so i'm thinking that they probably know more than what we know that Nintendo is probably stopping the presses on Vivid Voltage. This is all just speculation. I'm an idiot. I have no idea what I'm talking about. My speculation would be that they're stopping the printing of Vivid Voltage and printing uh, Battle Styles and Shining Fates. They're, they're redirecting all their attention to Shining Fates and Battle Styles. Meaning that this stuff is about to spike. You're not going to be able to find this stuff. If you can still find a little bit of it in retail stores, 
it's probably pretty good luck, and I don't think you're going to be able to do it very long, and then the prices are going to start hiking because, like I said, they're just going to, they're, they're not going to be printing it, they're not going to be distributing it for a while. So what I'm saying is, is that you might want to get in on our Vivid Voltage while you can, while it's at the price that it is. Because we'll keep trying to get it, but if we get it, likely the price is going to be higher than what we have been getting it for, and which means we're going to have to hike the price up on you guys, unfortunately. You know, ideally, we would love to get this stuff for wholesale pricing as cheap as we possibly can across the board on everything, uh, but that's just not the case. You know what I'm saying? Dude, Vivid Voltage is fire. And I think because of those two cards right there alone, like, even if, if you look at the pull rate on the Charizards, like, Evolution's one of the hottest sets right now. Packs are over 20 $25 a piece. <laughs> Evolution's booster boxes are going for $1,000 now, all of a sudden. And a few weeks ago, they were going for four or 500 Like, that's insane, guys. $25 a pack for Evolutions. And the thing is, is that the most desirable card in that set is the holographic Charizard, right? And I think the pull rate, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but look it up. I'm pretty sure the pull rate on that Charizard in Evolutions is like 1 in 45 or something. Like, it's it's relatively low. Right? This Pikachu is 1 in 1,000 compared to that. So that, I think this set is going to, and then this Pikachu, the second most valuable card in the set, is 1 in 450. So these are super rare cards, and I think just because of those pull rates alone, I think this set is going to stay desirable for a long time because a lot of people are going to want to chase those cards. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Price jump and vivid voltage boxes have been crazy as of last week. Yeah, at just the last week, it's starting to go up. That's why our prices are a little bit higher. Like I said, we just re-upped, um, so we had to we had to bring our price up a little. Not much. I mean, we're still pretty good, but I think. All right, here we go. Oshawott. one in seventy nine. Okay, I was I was wrong. It's not forty five, but still, one in seventy nine. Like everybody wants to pull that that Charizard. And it's a 1 in 79 pull rate. It's not even that... I mean, it's rare. Don't get me wrong. It is rare. But it's not that rare, considering that's a 1 in 450, and that's a 1 in 1,000. That's crazy to me. Like, every time I sit there and think about that. And the fact that packs of evolutions are going for $25 a piece now, because the booster boxes are selling for a grand. So we secured some evolutions last night. And, uh, but yeah, it wasn't cheap because it's all spiking like crazy right now. Why is my camera? Hello? Dad? What's it focusing on? What's happening right now? Is it, po is it focusing on this pack? I was just talking about how the autofocus is better on phones and now it's all jacked. What is happening? <laughs> Why all of a sudden? Oh, my Lanta. Hold on. Maybe there was something on the camera lens? Nope. Is it this Pikachu? <laughs> is it the Jirachi back there? I think it is. Now it's picking up the Pikachu. <laughs> what is going on? There's too much on camera here. Hold on. I got to I got to rearrange stuff a little bit. Now it's focusing on those. Bruh. Bruh. What a dumb problem to have. What an absolutely stupid problem to have. How am I going to fix this? Dude. Camera. 
What? Hold on. Bruh. 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 There we go. There we go. I reset the autofocus and I think it fixed it. Oof. I think we're good now, guys. Jeez. What is this? This isn't a hit pack. My Lanta. We got a Vaporeon reverse. That was nuts, dude. It was weird. It was just like all of a sudden. It was like, nope. Might just be the card. I didn't even think about that. Because that was weird. It was totally fine. And then all of a sudden, that that pack, it was like, everything's broken. A Zygarde reverse. Keep on keeping on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, that's a little teaser from my rock opera that I'm currently working on slash rap album. You can pre-order it now for $49.99 on HobbyCentral.com. Hobby Central Cards, rather. Mess up my own website real quick. That'll be good. That'll be good, right? Get out of here, Dawn fan. All right, so what did I miss in the chat? I feel like people were trying to ask me questions and stuff when we were talking about something important, and then the camera went out of focus and got me all distractificated. What were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about the insane price of evolutions and the pull rate of that Charizard compared to these Pikachus and the longevity of the set of Vivid Voltage. I don't know, man. I just see Vivid Voltage, like, I envision a day where Vivid Voltage could be one of those sets where booster boxes are going for, like, three, four hundred dollars. I don't know. What do you guys think? Here we go. Hit pack. What I'm hearing is Vivid Voltage is the way to go. I mean, in my opinion, I've had a lot of people recently be, recently be like, you know, hey, I'm, I'm just getting back into Pokemon or I've never been into Pokemon and I want a, a set to, you know, start. And especially a few weeks ago, like Vivid Voltage was like everywhere. So I was telling people like I would go with Vivid Voltage. It's easy to find. You know, it's got a lot of classic Pokemon in it. You, you know, there's a Charizard that if you're a Charizard fan, there's Charmander and Charmeleon, obviously. There's Pikachus that you can go for. Uh, there's even that holographic Snorlax, right? Isn't that in this? I think it is. Yeah, I'm not confusing that with Champion's Path, right? And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I just think it's, I think it's a good set to start with, whether you're just getting into Pokemon or you're an OG and you're going to remember a lot of the OG Pokemon that are in this set. I really like it, you know? I bought Vivid Voltage two weeks ago at $135 a box. Sold comps for today are around $200 already. Yeah, like, it's insane. It's ridiculous. Everything is just going through the roof. Mumu Cheese and a Colossal V. And the thing is, is that, like, you got, like, Gary V tweeting about collectible cards like trading cards and grading and everything is about to blow up and then you've got logan paul's tweet saying that the next the next pokemon break that he's going to do is going to be crazy or whatever he said and it's like is this about to get even like we all thought it was like maybe starting to get to the top of the crest you know and start coming back down to normalville and now it's like Wait a minute, is it is it about to get even crazier? Like what are vivid what are vivid voltage booster boxes going to cost in a month or two? What are Evo booster boxes going to cost in a month or two? I mean, you know, right now though Cosmic Eclipse would be my set if I could find it. I mean, we've got it, it's not cheap. Because we don't get it cheap, you know. 
What's the best amazing rare to pull? Yeah, it is Rayquaza. This is not a hit pack, so what am I doing? Which is the amazing rare we're going to pull out of this set. I'll get to show you one here soon. Hopefully. But that's another reason that the Vivid Voltage is a great starter, uh, starter set, in my opinion, is because of those damn amazing rares. I mean, they're so beautiful. They're such a fun card, even if you're not a huge fan of the Pokemon that's on it. Because myself, personally, I'm not a huge fan of any of the amazing rare Pokemon. But the cards themselves are just so awesome. And uh, they're a pretty decent pull rate. Daniel. Thank you, man. Yeah, go Chiefs. Let's see if we can... Uh, see if we can take care of those bills. They're looking pretty mean. Hopefully Mahomes is healthy. Another new world record, 408k for a sealed set booster. Yeah, so that's that's the tweet that Logan Paul, one, two, three, four, five, he quote retweeted it and was like, more than double what I got mine for, can't wait for my next break or whatever he said. So Logan Paul is about to do something with Pokemon and it's going to be something crazy. So... Um, yeah, I don't know, man. And that's what started all this. Like, for those of you guys that don't know, the Pokemon craze of 2020 started with Logan Paul. I mean, I think it was already kind of like a perfect scenario, right? You've got the the virus going around. So everybody's locked up, quarantined, not leaving their house, not much to do. You know, looking for something... And then you've got a whole bunch of people that are just, like, hit in the face with nostalgia of Pokemon, hearing about it in the news and stuff because people are buying into it again. And it was just kind of easy to get that ball rolling. You know what I mean? Like, it didn't take much. It was kind of like, a whoopa, Magirna. It's kind of like all the video games, too. You know, like, video games boomed real big, too, there for a while. Everybody was playing video games that maybe hadn't in a long time. You know, Nintendo Switches were completely sold out for a while, remember? Now they're actually back in stores. Like, kudos to Nintendo for actually keeping up with that supply and demand. It was actually pretty impressive. Um, well, I mean, it took them a while, but they're actually on shelves now. It's not hard to find a Switch anymore. There for a while, you couldn't find one anywhere. People were selling Nintendo Switches for like a grand, I think, or more. I can't even remember now. It was crazy. And so Pokemon kind of fell into that same category, you know? It was just like one of those things that you could stay home and do safely. Order them online. This isn't a hit pack. What am I doing? Electrode reverse. Did this man just disrespect Celebi? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Coming in on the two-hour mark here. Thank you guys, everybody who tuned in tonight, today, this morning, whatever, words. It was a Wednesday, 10 a.m. stream. I mean, not everybody's got the time to, st to stop by on a Wednesday at this time. So if you did come in, I appreciate you. Jolteon. Life would definitely be different, Spuds. It would definitely be different. In some ways, for the for the worse, though. I think. I think. A lot, I think we've learned a lot. You know, like a lot of people are working from home now, uh, and that's something I've always. I mean, I've worked from home for a long time, so I think I. You know, it's more natural for me to have that mindset. But there's so many times that, like, my girlfriend was working in insurance at the time and I'm like you know she would tell me about her day and her workflow consisted of like oh my lord speaking of girlfriends we got B it looks like the camera focus is messed up again dude not the Pikachu I know you want to focus on the Pikachu B uh how do you pronounce is it just B or is it B uh full art beautiful you know, she was telling me about her workflow, and it was just, like, all emails and phone calls. And I'm like, why are you going, why are you driving to an office every day? You should just be working from home. And now that's just 
almost the standard for so many jobs that it wasn't before. And I think it's awesome. I think that's one really good thing that kind of came out of all this madness is that there's so many people working from home now. And a lot of people are more productive from home because they're happier. They're not depressed because they're sitting in some terrible office building with people they don't enjoy being around and stuff like that. And for some people, it's worse. Don't get me wrong. It goes both ways, but. Bay, more like Bay, uh, yeah, okay, I really wish that the autofocus wasn't messed up again, though, uh, going forward, next time I do this, I probably won't have mountains of cards everywhere, because it seems to really trip out the autofocus on the phone, just B, B, uh, B, yeah, are you sure it's not B, yeah, I think we should go with B, yeah, All right. Come on, camera. I'll just hold it back here. I know it's further away, but autofocus be tripping right now. It's that Pikachu, dude. I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure the camera's just focusing on that. Oh, my Lord. The Galarian Obstagoon Gold. Right after the B full art. Are you kidding me right now? Bro, let's go, man. Three gold cards, a Pikachu V Max Rainbow Rare, the Pikachu V Full Art, above average on the amazing rares. I mean, uh, bruh. Bruh. Get out of here, dude. Get out out of here. Hold on, let me reset the autofocus one more again. Let me hold a pack up so it'll... Oh, I think we're good already. I mean, bruh. Killing it! Killing it, Brian. Uh, I would send the Rainbow Rare into CGC personally. And we do offer grading services through HobbyCentralCards.com. If you guys didn't know, uh, we have a grading service through CGC. So you guys can hit us up if you have any of your cards that you want to get graded. Um, myself personally, I, I haven't really looked into Beckett. I'll admit that up front. But myself personally, I think CGC is really going to start taking over if PSA is backlogged from March of 2020 you know they're they're nine months behind on submissions right now from what I hear at least that's the rumors so if you want your card back like in a month you have to pay like $25 per card on top of the regular rate or something stupid like that I'm not even exactly sure on the on the numbers plus they don't offer the subgrading with CGC you send in this Pikachu VMAX and you get a 9.5 you're going to find out exactly why it's a 9.5 It'll say, you know, uh, your surface is a 10, your um, edges are a 10, your corners are a 9.5, and your centering is a 9.5. So I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't send my card to any service, especially on a big value card like that. I wouldn't be sending my cards into any service that's just going to send you back a card with a 9 or a 10 on it. And then not even tell you why it got that 9 or a 10. Because that's the... You know, if you're expecting a 10 and you get back a 9 and you don't even know why, that sounds like a terrible service to me. You know what I mean? Or maybe you send off that Pikachu VMAX and you're thinking, oh, it's it's at least a 9. It's super clean. I don't think it's perfect for a 10, but it's super clean. I'm going to get at least a 9. And then you get back an 8. Imagine getting that card back in an 8 and not having subgrades to know why you got that 8. I would never send my cards off to a service that doesn't give subgrades and CGC has subgrades. So I think if PSA doesn't start doing subgrades and they don't get out of that hole where they're like nine months, almost a year behind, th there's no way CGC doesn't take over as like the new standard of, of Pokemon grading. Personally, that that's my two cents on it. Of course, I'm an idiot. What do I know? You know what I mean? All right, we got a hit pack here, ladies and gentlemen.
Jolteon Reverse, and a Drapion V. Oops. Top load that mofo right there, bro. And if you didn't know, it's much, much harder to get a 10, or a 10, it seems like it at least, It's it seems to be much harder to get a 10 from CGC than it is to get a 10 from PSA, which just that alone right there, like everybody already, you know, the, the current standard is PSA, everybody's comfortable with PSA, everybody knows PSA, collectors know PSA, so that's why there's a little bit of a premium with PSA, but I think just the fact right there, three, four. Five. The fact that it's harder to get a 10 from CGC than it is to get a 10 from a PSA, eventually CGC cards are going to be worth more than PSA. I would assume because people buying them are going to know, oh, oh, that's a CGC 10, which is basically a PSA 11, you know what I mean? So it's worth a little bit more money, is the way I look at it. There we go! I just realized I did the card trick on that pack, and I shouldn't have. Because it was a non-hitter, but you know what? You got the Rayquaza. That's why I did it. Subliminally, I knew. I knew there was an amazing rare Rayquaza in that pack, and that's why I did the card trick. It wasn't because I was talking and rambling on about nonsense and totally lost track of what I was doing. It's because I knew there was a Rayquaza amazing rare, the most desirable amazing rare currently in the set ladies and gentlemen one two three four five six seven eight so now we're back on par uh unless we get another amazing rare out of this set we were above par but now we're back on par yeah basically a cgc 9.5 is a psa 10 Do you know what's the CGC turnaround on grades? Uh, it, it should be about a month or two. I, I, I don't want to throw too much information out there because I'm not 100% on it. Uh, Draw is our employee that handles... Oh, man, look at that. You see? Look at that big edge mess up there. Hopefully this isn't, hopefully this isn't a rainbow Pikachu. Uh, Draw is the one that handles our grading service, and he would be able to answer that better, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get cards back within a month or two at the most I believe a Dialga, good good I did the walkthrough tier, I had my Zard back in 8 days, graded and ready to go, from CGC or from PSA, do we? CGC was primarily focused on coins and bills and comic books and recently started doing trading cards recently, so they still building a name for themselves. They've done really well. Yeah, I think they've done really well really fast. Also, they're starting sports cards this month. Uh, we're going to send off... We're sending... Before we offer it on the website, um, we're sending off some sports cards. Draw is... I say we. Draw sending off some of his sports cards, and we're going to kind of test the waters. <laughs> There's something back there, boys. There's something back there. Do you see that? Let's guess what it is. So, yeah, we're testing the waters on their sports cards right now. We want to make sure it's a good service, a good product. Uh, I've got, like, some really good sports cards that I'm going to send off to CGC personally as long as they look like they're doing a good job. You got a Sir Fetched V. I'm actually a really big fan of this card. The art on it is really cool. Personally, big fan. Much like, very well. Yes, sir. Alright, guys, we're getting down to the end of it here. We got, like, maybe ten packs left, it looks like, over there. Something like that. Full art surfetched. Non hitter. How many did I count? Oof. Amazing rare? Not so much. We got a hit pack. A hit pack. 
A head pack, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Can we pull another rainbow rare? No, we can't. Not right now, at least. Lusario Rivas. Yeah, Mike, if you go to our website, hobbycentralcards.com, you'll see on the top bar, two, three, four, you'll see card grading. And you pay a $5 deposit. That, that deposit goes towards your final invoice. Once you pay the deposit, you fill out the Google form. There's a form that just you fill out what kind of cards you're sending in and blah, 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 blah. And we will send you an invoice for your total amount and shipping. That $5 that you paid on the website will be deducted, deducted from the invoice. And then you pay your invoice, you ship your cards to us, and we ship them back once we get them back from CGC. We handle everything for you. Togekiss VMAX. Very nice. Okay, man. Get in there. Zip zap zuba de bop. Any new artifacts? What are artifacts? What do you mean by artifacts? Non hit pack. No big deal. Because we're going to pull another Rayquaza Amazing Rare right here. Right? Nah, now. Not now. Not l later, is what I meant to say. What is going on here? It's right here. Here's the Rayquaza. Oh, I hope not. Look at that. There's like a little bit of a fading or something. I don't even know what that is. And that's a whooper. I thought it was going to be a Charizard for a second. And I was like, no. Hockey? I don't think we, I don't think we have any hockey right now. No. Uh, we have baseball, basketball, football, uh, NASCAR. We might have some hockey. I'm not sure. I don't think so, though. All right, guys. Three packs left. Here we go. Oof. Can we get a like spike? Everybody that's still here, Wednesday morning, early stream, chilling, opening some Pokemon cards, living the best life. Let's get some likes on the video if you haven't already. I would much appreciate it. We got a hit pack here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. Now, the last box that we opened, the last pack in the box was the full art Pikachu. Let's see if the last two packs here can give us some love. I also just realized we're due. One, two. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Unless I'm miscounting, I'm pretty sure we're due for another. You usually get two amazing rares per box. He got three out of one earlier, so if he doesn't get two out of this one, it wouldn't be the biggest deal. But it would be nice if he kept up that average. Second to last pack. Not so hot, ladies and gentlemen. We've got one pack left, and it's probably going to be a green card with an amazing rare. Let's see. Green pack. One, two, three, four, five. There it is. I called it. It's almost like I've opened a few of these. All right. Unfortunately, I mean, I guess, uh, again, I think Jirachi is the second most valuable amazing rare from the set. But we... <laughs> Hold on. Let me show you guys something. But we pulled 
four of them. So that's pretty cool. I mean, we got four Jirachis, two Zamazentas, a Celebi, a Rayquaza, and a Raikou. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five. So he only... Who, who's the other one? The bird. Right? Uh, what's the bird? I can't think of that one. Uh, there you go, guys. That's that's all she wrote. We just broke four, four booster boxes for Brian. Brian, thank you so much for your business with us. We much appreciate you, bro. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Let's do a quick recap here. We got... One, two, three, four Jirachi Amazing Rares, two Zamazenta Amazing Rares, your Celebi, your Rayquaza, and your Raikou. Zacian, is that the one we're missing? Oh, yeah, Zacian and Zamazenta. Isn't there a bird, too? There's only six Amazing Rares, right? Or is there eight? Am I crazy? Am I losing my mind out here, boys? Boys and gals? We'll set these to the side for a second. And then you got all your reverse and hollows. Earthquake test. Let's see here. There's a couple to grab out of here to highlight. You got some V's and V Max. You got, I think, two Pikachu V's. Your Alakazam V full art. That's worth looking over. Togekiss V Max. And then we got three golds. Your Telescopic Sight, your Galarian Obstagoon, and your Orangaroo. Isn't the Galarian Obstagoon is a fairly valuable one, too, I believe. And then you got your Full Art B. Absolutely stunning. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we pulled that Rainbow Rare Pikachu VMAX. And then we pulled the Pikachu V full art. Beautiful. One in a thousand pull rate. One in 450. So, I mean, we opened 144 packs. And these came out of the same box, mind you. These came out of the same booster box. That's 36 packs. One in 450, one in a thousand. You killed it. You killed it, Brian. You absolutely killed it. All right. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you. It's been fun. We'll catch you guys on the next stream and or video. And make sure, if you haven't already, go over now. HobbyCentralCards.com and check out the live breaks Get your packs now. We've already sold like 200 packs. The live stream isn't even until next week. There's lots of time, but not many packs left, and we might have to shut down the listing early like we did last week. Uh, so if you want packs, you want Vivid Voltage, especially after all the fire we pulled in this one, it's probably going to start selling. Uh, make sure you get them now. Love you guys. Thank you so much for coming out. Appreciate the members and the Super Chats. You guys were awesome.